control is updating to the last latest firmware which is 2.0 firmware designed for ESS assistant and here is our Victron with the VE bus BMS battery management system four lithium batteries 160 ampere hour each which makes close to 8 kilowatt hour capacity so I'm charging batteries from the grids right now turbine is giving 350 watts that Fronius logo appears here but it's not a Fronius inverter as you can see it is this inverter so here we are beautiful country Donegal here is a pitch mechanism of windspeed wind turbine which is putting some grease here on the shaft and already nipples here grease is overflowing from the pitch bearings which is nice little more grease on the spring so turbine is ready for upcoming storms and look at this beautiful country here is the house we're supplying here is a TV system okay we're gonna close this now and check those bolts with a proper torque wrench so here, here is our increased self-consumption system the way it works any excess power is stored in the batteries and if the house demand is higher than solar system can deliver and wind turbine can deliver energy is pulled from the batteries and in case of grid failure system switch to off grid mode and the house is still supplied and energy is kept in balance excess power is stored in batteries again without connection to the grid right now we are connected to the grid and what I'm doing is I'm charging batteries to have them full we're getting close, batteries will be full at 56.8 volt so one more volt here is a battery monitor saying there is another 16 ampere hours capacity in the batteries and uh, the system has also power diverter installed in the house so in case when we have a few windy or sunny days in a row batteries are full excess power is being dumped in the immersion heater which is installed in the tank I show you that, that in a second battery reached uh, absorption lever which is 56.8 volt and as you can see she battery can still pull some power but, but the current will slowly go down now and the grid power will go down also I believe another 10 minutes and battery will be full the fan of the Victron inverter charger just went off 
that's because we pulling only 16 amps in absorption stage As you can see there is few weights, three weights on the turbine and whenever the RPM succeeds to 60 RPM or to 50 RPM the blades start to pitch changing the angle of the blades that's automatically slowing the turbine down that's why this turbine can work all the time in the stormy weather without changing direction still producing the power sun came out Fronius is giving 500 watts that's almost enough to top up battery without using greed ooh 700 watts Hoo hoo hoo! So the power diverter should work now. Let's have a look. Yes. So. We are in balance right now. Okay, this guy is diverting. Uh, only when the gust comes. Oh, diverting. Not much. And the story is. This immersion tank, uh, this tank has two immersion heaters, top one and bottom one. And first one is the top one. Whenever the thermostat turn it off, that means top of the tank is hot. The bottom one will kick in. <laughs> okay, Gerard, I'm gonna boost heater number one. Is uh, that's on okay? So 2.6 kilowatt going to that heater. That means we're taking that 2.6 from the battery now. I can hear it going on. You can hear it going on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, hot thermostat, turn it off. No, I mean uh, the thermostat setting in the heater. Yeah. And now I'm gonna turn on the heater number two. Okay. 3 kilowatts going to the heater number 2. Right, so we finished here. But the last thing I want to show you is... I want to go there and select manual boost function. And then I'm gonna come here and show you that the energy is being pulled from the batteries first. Uh, and the system can deliver 3 kilowatts, hopefully, to the immersion. Okay, Gerard, so it's boost using uh, top immersion for boost. 
there's no speaking to me. Is the top immersion on now? Hey! Yeah, 2.6 kilowatt for one hour. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, and there is 50 amps going from the battery. 3 kilowatts from the battery. 2.7 kilowatts. 2.6 is immersion and 100 watts is a house. Okay, we don't want to waste precious energy. So I'm going to turn off the boost. As we don't want to Cancel boost. Boost off. 2.6 kilowatt. 2.5, 2.2, 2.1. Oh, going down slowly. 1.2, 1 1.1, 0.6, 0 0.5. And we back. To the normal load, which is freezer, and the base load of the house is about 300 watts, as you can see, and the battery is being charged at the minute because the solar plus wind turbine is giving more than the house need. Which is very nice. Oh, right now we're in a, almost in a balance because only 100 watts is going, 90 watts to the battery. Okay. That's it from Donegal. We will be watching Gerard from somewhere else and we're gonna see how much wind is here how much solar that's last 30 days of solar generation as you can see the days are very short now that's why the solar generation looks like this but the wind generation looks very nice as you can see December wasn't very windy as for Donegal but the turbine keep producing between one and two, even picking up to three kilowatts for a nice half of the month easily, if not more. That's a battery voltage and current, battery power, battery voltage again, AC input power, whenever it's flat, we not buying from the grid, whenever it's below, the axe we exporting to the grid, which is immersion first and then to the grid. That's AC system consumption. As you can see, shower, 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 shower. That's okay. Grid again, AC output power, AC output voltage and current, AC input voltage and current. You can see how the grid voltage behaves. Pretty stable. Battery state of charge. As you can see, you can quickly discharge battery if you like. And if you have a lot of power, you can also quickly charge it. 12.56. Oh, six hours to charge battery. Uh, see input frequency. That's it. Greetings from Donegal. See you somewhere else, boys and girls.